had said the Asiya. She was in the worst environment. Okay, what do I mean by this? She was the husband of a person saying, I am the highest Lord ever. And Rabbukum al okay? And she, in this very bad environment, she was successful to be one of the best four ever, you know, of the, you see? And here, the circumstances of her exam was too bad, and she was too successful that she has, according to our days, we say the highest grade, you know, ever, okay? And this is for all women, don't say my husband is so and so, my children, they are too bad, I, I live with a family who are, uh, their parents, this and that, you know. Whatever you are at, you are not as bad in your environment as Sayyidi Asya, okay? And this is just to tell the woman, you know, try to be a little bit patient and try to be, be a little bit practical. Yani I see these two components, you know, in Sayyidi Asya, patience and practical, okay? Patience, she tolerated this person who say, I'm the God, I am the highest Lord, and you name it. Practical, she found her way to establish this unique uh, relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbi ibn li indaka baytan fil jannah. The, the commentator, they said that she asked the neighborhood of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the heaven. Rabbi ibn li indaka. At your holding or whatever, you know. Fil jannah, you see. And here the order in the Quran has something, you know. She asked the neighborhood before asking the heaven. And this is for me tells that she was really successful in finding her strong and good relation and love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes.